Sometimes I need to pause at the beginning because it doesn't always pick up on my comments straight away. So I'll say that again just in case. Hello and good evening. Thank you so much for hopping onto my channel tonight. My name is Esther and this is Stampin' Star Creations. Tonight I'm hoping to recreate a retro geometric design with stamps. Um, you might think that stamps are, excuse me, I've got that's in my eye, are a bit old fashioned, not really very relevant anymore, but actually stamps have come a long way and they have become very modern and on trend. And there's actually quite a lot of techniques that you can do with stamps, especially if they are from Sampin' Up, which I am a demonstrator for here in the UK. So um, do come on in. If you see that flashing live button, you know I'm live. This is Tuesday the 6th of April 2021. So I may talk about retiring products, which are products which don't carry over to Stampin' Up's new catalogue. Welcome Evie, nice to see you. Have you been with us before Evie? Um, so if, if you hear the word retiring, I've given you the date, it's April 2021. So um, it may mean that you have that product already, but sometimes it means you can't then get hold of it because we've moved on to a new catalogue. Good morning, Australia. Hello, Vicky. So today I'm going to stamp a sheet or two half sheets, I think is the plan. And um, we're going to use a few stamp sets and I'll talk you through the colours as we go. So hold on to your bellies. I'm just going to flip it around the camera. I think I will cut this paper in half. I've decided. I'm hoping to do to do two different. Oh no, that's not half. Hoping to do two different um, colourways: a more masculine one and then a feminine one. So, oh my comments aren't caught up with me. Sorry, I'm just going to restart it on my other device that's better so that I can see comments coming in um, <clears throat> by starting with half sometimes it's less intimidating if you go wrong no I need that piece of paper um, okay I'm gonna start with the more what I call masculine tones and I quickly looked up retro geometric retro wallpaper I think it was and it came up with, I think I got rid of it on my phone. Yes, I did. Um, it came up with some colours, which I tried to match closely to our Stampin' Up! colours. So I've pulled out Pretty Peacock, Granny Apple Green, Balmy Blue and Terracotta Tile. Now, Pretty Peacock and Terracotta Tile are two colours that will retire um, in May, so after May the 4th, they will no longer be available from the shop or from my online shop. So, to start creating my background sheet of paper, I'm going to use the Jar of Flowers stamp set, and these ones that show grey are what's called um, reversible stamps. So not only can you stamp the lined image, but they've created it so you can turn it round and stamp the other side. So, for example, if you didn't want a stripe, you can have a plain band and you just turn it over. This particular rubber is thicker or first polymer is thicker than our usual stamps. But you can probably do this technique with most of the stamps anyway. Uh, but these are kind of specifically designed for that. So that's what I'm going to use, not the line side, which I've stuck down to my block, but the other side. So welcome and good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're coming in from, great to see you all. Thank you. So a quick hello to those on my live now, so that I don't ignore everybody. Hi there, Cindy, thank you for wiping your feet as you come in. <laughs> Hi there, Claire and Wendy, Ellie. Welcome to Evie, Deborah, Vicky, Cindy had said hello, Deb, Rosie, Kerry, Melanie, Sheila and Steph. Lovely to have your company. So what's the first? I'm going to start with terracotta tile. And I love using this side of the stamp because you can get some really fun, like I said, geometric shapes on this. So I'm going to do 
some groups of two and some of them I'm just going to do individually and I'm going to turn my stamp as I go. Um, no, I don't want these next to each other. <laughs> so I'm going to come in with more ink each time I stamp because I want them to be nice at bold colours. Bearing in mind we are going to add other colours to this so I'm not going to fill the whole page straight away. Cindy says, I was going to watch on my TV but I can't comment. Oh, you have to watch on two devices. Now the joy of casting it onto your television is that you get a better view of what I'm doing. Um, you get a really nice close-up action shot <laughs> of all the wrinkles and the crinkles. Okay, let's have a look what's next. What should I... Just referring to my cheat sheet, as I call it. Okay, I think we'll go in with Granny Apple. So, in retro patterns, you do find some overlapping. So, I'm going to do that on my page. I'm going to make this quite random. I'm not going to be too specific because I quite like the randomness of the pattern that I'm creating. The colours are a bit garish, but I think by the time I add on the other colours, they do tone down a bit, so don't worry too much about my garish choice of colours. So just be careful, if you stamp off onto a a foam pad like I've got underneath, um, it can pick up the colour and cause smudging. So that sound is my chamois which has just got water in it. Just add water to it and you can just rub off your stamps, so very handy. So balmy blue next. And now let's spread out this design a bit more. Oh that's better. Now we're getting some colour in here. Now the colours are starting to blend together. Deborah says these are definitely retro colours. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. I think the shape helps as well. It's kind of really fun retro shape. Now I've seen the new catalogue that's coming alive in May, and there is a stamp set in that actually that would this would work really well with. So I think I'm kind of almost preempting a little bit. Um, let's, oh, let's be brave. Let's do a third overlap there. Okay, and then we're going to go in with our bold, pretty peacock colour. This colour I absolutely love and I will miss it. But there's some, uh, I was going to say ten new colours, five new colours coming in that we've got the joy of playing with and mixing in with our existing colours. I was going to say something though. Yes, do share this um, broadcast out. You can share on a few platforms. Uh, Pinterest is always a good one because it means that people can actually come straight to my YouTube channel and have a look to see what I've been up to. So you just press the share button, scroll across and it will give you options to share out. I quite like it like this. I was going to add something else on here. I'm actually enjoying the <laughs> the blocks of colour by themselves. Okay, so I I, don't, I will carry on because <laughs> I can always do this another time. <laughs> So that was the jar of flowers and the reverse side. Now I would like to bring in, um, this is swirly frames. This stamp set is retiring. So as you can see, it is just the framework, it's the outside. So I'm gonna come in with this rectangle shape. Hi there, Steph. Oh, sorry to hear that you're not well. Yes, I had a reaction on my arm after my first vaccine. So these create nice lines across our 
page and I'm going to just keep up with that lovely geometric shape. Oh, I was a bit late to the party with this particular stamp set and I'm wishing that I'd got in there but earlier with it but hey ho I will use it now and uh, see what we can do with it. Okay, that's just, oh, you can't see anything now. <laughs> I was getting carried away with my stamping that I forgot that you couldn't see. <laughs> so I'm spreading these out a little bit for further afield, far and wide. And again, try not to be too kind of um, scripted with it. But I am keeping that rule of being... Um, Vertical and horizontal. I like this. I could totally have this as wallpaper. Does anyone have any wallpaper like this in their in their youth? <laughs> Let's meet up these two together. Uh, Deborah says, reminds me of 60s wallpaper, mid-century modern. <laughs> okay, now, I did want to also add some bold black um, images. And for that, I thought a nice masculine one would be the Forever Fern. So, I'm thinking now, I'm just having a look at this more... Call it the bamboo leaf. Whether that would be a bit better for what I want. We could have a mixture, but let's go in with the this bigger one here. And I'm going in with black memento ink. And this is like your old-fashioned ink pad, so you, you can afford to give it a little twist just to make sure that the ink applies to your work. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I'm buffering. Come on now. Hopefully it's catching up. Ellie says it reminds her of old oil table oil cloth table covers. Yes, I know what you mean. <laughs> Whoa! I flipped my uh wah! my black ink pad is slipping around. I don't know why. So let's have a look. I think I'm going to go just straight up, straight down. So once you create your own backgrounds like this, you can recreate it with your own colours. You don't have to go retro like this. Um, you can just simply add a sentiment or keep it plain. Oh, Cindy, what a kind thing to say. Cindy says, this is gorgeous, Esther. It's so obvious that creativity runs in your all's family. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm liking this leaf on it. I think it works well. What say you? What do we think? Good morning, Vanessa. I love the way Vanessa pops up as just as I'm finishing my first piece. She's got good timing, hasn't she? I'm just going to wipe my foam mat down with my chamois, just get any excess off and I'm just going to turn him over. There, let's draw you out a little bit to get a sense of size. There, I like it. I'm just going to have a sip. I've got the gnome mug today so it doesn't fall over on my desk. So let's do an, a tether. Let's go. I'm going to go more pastel colours. So we've got pool party, soft sea foam, a seaside spray, which looks more purple on the screen, but it's a blue and a petal pink. So let's try this combination. And what am I looking for? 
using our lovely jar stamp again. <laughs> Deborah. Deborah's just said, love the inspiration you share with us. My brain truly doesn't go there unless you lead me. Wow. Let me be your leader. Let me be your inspiration. Just all I ask is give credit where credit's due. Um, if you, oh, sorry, I'm trying to get you to the point of, I wish there was an easier way of zooming in. Um, yeah, just happy for you to, to copy and share and make it your own, but just please um, mention me when you've done it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's have a look what I did there then. I think I started with petal pink. I don't think there's any kind of rhyme or reason. I, I'm kind of going with the bolder colour, I guess, which in this case I think, oh, that's a bit dirty. Got a dirty bluey orange happening. Let's try that again, shall we? That's better. What was I saying there? Yeah, I don't think there's any kind of right or wrong with this kind of design. But like I said, I'm, I'm laying down one of the bolder colours first. It kind of feels a little bit alien um, using the reverse side of the stamp. That is, That does feel a little bit strange, I must admit. But it works because you get a whole new level of stamping. Okay, next I'm going to come in with soft sea foam. Make sure that's nice and clean. And again, just turning and overlapping. I think that's partly the key to this is the overlapping of the design. Uh, Cindy's asking, what stamp did you just use? Do you, are you talking about this one? This comes from Jar of Flowers and it's the reverse side of this one. What's Sheila saying? I should have saved it really, but um, you know, okay, boo boo there, but that's okay. That's all right, Cindy. So, when I first got this stamp set, I did a, a play with it, and this was one of the first things I did. In fact, I'll, show, I'll probably show you on the, another piece of paper if I get time tonight. I'll show you, if not, I'll save it for another, <laughs> another live or something. But, um, there's something else you can do. It's just so much fun, like just creating your own look, your own patterns. And it would be different each time. Even if you try to recreate it, it would be different each time. That's the fun of it. And then just when you think that's enough colour, as you go adding another colour, and it completely changes the look. Sheila says, I wish it was on the pre-order. She's talking about the new stamp set. Yeah, I know. There was quite a few that I would have liked to have got, which I thought might have been on the pre-order, but wasn't. But uh, that just means I've got to save up my pennies. <laughs> so while I get stamping, I'll tell you about my um, competition open to the UK folk which finishes tomorrow over on Instagram. And you've got to follow my page, like a post and tag a friend in it in order to be in for a chance of winning. Where have I put it? A stamp set, which I've, I think is up here. Yes, here you go. And it finishes tomorrow. 
So if you're interested in that, head over to my Instagram page, which is Stampin' Star Creations with Esther. And you'll see this on there. So all you've got to do is follow my account, like the post, which looks exactly like this. Comment by tagging a friend. It doesn't matter if you're demo. I'm just trying to get um, more people following my account and following me on there, really. And because it's my fifth anniversary, I thought I'd do it. a giveaway. Good morning, Heidi. Okay, I think we're done with that particular bit. Let's have a look at what other shapes we've got. I'm wondering about circles. I do like a circle. Are circles less a retro? Doesn't want to come out to play. Oh, let's go circles. I, I do like a circle. We'll soon find out, won't we? Thank you, Cindy. Yeah, five years, been a demo. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Awesome, but crazy. <laughs> crazy because I can't, you know, five years has gone rather quickly. Oh, I'm liking the circles. It's been an incredible journey for sure. For sure. Right, this will test those that um, say they struggle with random. <laughs> Why, hello, lovely Delinda. How are we? How many on stages have I been to? That's a good question. Been to quite a few now. <laughs> um, I could usually tell if I tally up how many lanyards I've got. <coughs> um, excuse me. Let's think at least five, maybe one, two. Must be more than that. Must be more. <clears throat> Do I normally go to both in a year? Yeah, I have started to. If when it's live, it's a shame it's not been on this year because um, I've had downline who are interested in going. So, right. So for this one, so let me just do a quick recappy. Um, those the circles were from swirly frames. And for this one, I thought I'd add some butterflies, but I've got the another set which is retiring called Butterfly Gala, which comes with a matching punch. Now, I've not sacrificed my stamp to the snipping gods. Ruth does that. I just leave mine attached. So, um, here we go. <laughs> and they're, they're spaced out enough for me to um, ink it up separately. Oh, my black memento is playing ball tonight. It's really stamping quite well. So with the other image, I did do it straight up, straight down. But I think with butterflies, you can't afford to have them at an angle. And it... Um... Ah, oh, Miss Vicky, thank you so much. It means I can buy some more things from the new catalogue. <laughs> Thanks, Vicky. If I do it this way, I can feel like I can see what I'm doing. I'm a bit more in control of the ink pad then, with where it's going. Yeah, do you like that, Sheila? I haven't surrendered, surrendered the, uh, I haven't sacrificed the uh, st stamps to the, <laughs> to the snipping gods. I've, I've managed to uh, withhold them. I've managed to make use of them as they are. So if you like butterflies, there is a new set that's available early for you to order and it's full of butterflies so um 
yeah if you love your butterflies and more realistic butterflies this this set has got a mixture but if you like realistic looking butterflies and papers and stamps and dies then um you might want to check out the Butterfly Brilliance. Um, oh, Vanessa, thank you. My budget's getting bigger for the new catalogue. This is good. <laughs> so the colourful chat is called Super Chat. And it's just a dollar sign in the comments, which you can contribute Payment. It's not compulsory to watch me. I do actually allow people on to watch me for free. Um, just a, by the way, if you are thinking of donating money and want to do a large sum, if you're feeling particularly generous, PayPal is your friend because um, YouTube do take a snip of the um, a percentage of what, what comes in with the super chat. So... Thank you. Uh, Sheila says she ordered an extra butterfly set of that big one so she could snip it up. Oh, Sheila's feeling brave. Sheila sacrifices her stamps. Okay, so I'm making sure I do go off the page because when this gets cut, gets cut down, that's without the gin and tonic, um, <laughs> then you want to make sure that you get to see the design carrying over off the page. I keep spotting little places that I want to put it, so I'm just going to add. There we go, it makes all the difference. Yes, Delinda, it's always a toss-up with watching Ruth as to whether or not she'll be, there'll be stamp carnage. Absolutely. Good evening, Paula, lovely to see you. Hi Bev, i just seen you with your exclamation mark sneaking in. So this is our girly version, what, what do we think? It's more karma, pastel colours, then we've got our bold, retro, more masculine colours. In fact, I didn't realise, but have a look, you've got a lighter tone of blue, lighter tone of orange, lighter tone of green. So I've basically used similar colours. <laughs> Ellie prefers number two. That's interesting. Knowing you're more of an autumnal girl, I thought you would have gone for this one, Ellie. <clears throat> right, place your vote and I'm just going to grab my trimmer. One or two. What one do you like best? And I'm going to get chip, chop, chop in. You always surprise me indeed, Ellie. <coughs> Can the butterflies have bodies, please, says Vanessa. Vanessa spotted that I didn't stamp the bodies. <laughs> Hi, Babsy. Babsy's just dropped in to say hello. So quick hello to Babsy, because it sounds as if she can't stay. Like them both, would use for different occasions. Deborah, that's so diplomatic. <laughs> um, so, uh, who asked for the bodies? Was it Sheila? Or Delinda, or somebody did. Um, in the set, they do come with bodies and antennae. I have lost a set of antennae, but we're not going to talk about that. This is the body, and it just fits in the middle of the butterflies, which does give them a bit more. <laughs> Deborah says, not diplomatic, greedy. Well, I leave that one to you. <laughs> okay. So make sure there is a thicker end to excuse the varnish. I didn't, um, my chipped varnish, um, I didn't have time to take off. Um, it goes from fatter to thinner. Sorry, what's what's the opposite of narrow? <laughs> Larger to narrower? How do, you, how do you say it? Wider, thank you. <laughs> Wider to narrow. I can stay, I'm late, busy with another call. Oh, that's okay. You just come when you can. We'll be here, hopefully. <laughs> Wider and narrower sounds more PC, doesn't it? A bit more politically correct. Right, this one here needs a bottom. There we go. 
fluffy. <laughs> there, happy now? Are we happy? Was it Vanessa that needed the bodies? Right, are we ready to chip, chop, chop? I think I should have put the camera in the other room. No, it's in here. Right, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to... Just going to take a quick photo while it's in one piece. Paula says, I have these and I haven't had a chance to use them yet. Does it look more complete now? Oh, Deborah, no worries. Nice to see you. Right, stop trying to photo bomb you lot. <laughs> It is quite nice to see the before and after because when it gets chopped, it uh, does look different. So let's move that there a minute. Okay, let's bring it down. Say geez. <laughs> okay, let's clear the old decks a second. She says clear the decks, meaning chucking her box of blocks away. And <clears throat> let's have a look. We can do this together. We don't need to do it too separate. Let's save time, shall we? Perhaps if you changed your picture. Oh, look. It means more people can enjoy it. Unusual to see someone using an actual camera rather than a phone these days. I like editing photos properly online and I just find it easier with my camera because of the reproduction um, that you get with a, a camera. So, And it means that if I ever need photos, it... <laughs> I, I do take photos on my phone, but um, it's nice to have a natural camera. I, I tell you what it is mainly also, is I've taken to doing um, photo calendars. And when you're trying to use a photo that's come from a phone, they do, it doesn't like being enlarged. It just doesn't, the quality isn't there. So... Um, That's another reason why I try and take some actual photos. And I've got a nice zoomy in lens as well, so I can take some nice close-up shots if I want to. I'm just looking to see what I can afford to chop off and lose, and what I definitely want to keep. For this sort of pattern, it's not so bad, I'm only chopping a little bit off. So I tend to use the same mat and layer size, uh, which is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. It's interesting to see on the screen compared to what I can see in front of me. It, it looks like you can see more than I can see in my camera. I know it might sound a bit odd on my phone rather. Okay, let's bring on the box of goodies. So terracotta tile, that's not a colour I tend to have. We'll do a bit of auditioning. I quite like the retro look of that colour. Uh, what did I start with in terms of camera or phone? Is that what you mean? Or are you talking about, um, you talk about stamps? <laughs> Sometimes it's hard, particularly me. I get very easily confused when I'm... Oh, I don't have... Where's Pretty Peacock? Ah, don't have any cut up. Okay, let's go Granny. Apple Green. That's not Granny. Apple Green. Oh, size of paper. Beg your pardon. Uh, I started with an A5 size. That's a bit garish. I don't like that. I think I need to get out Pretty Peacock. I normally have some cuts. Put it on my floor desk. See, that's better. I like that. So there's that one and that one. Uh, let's have a look what we've got here. 
soft sea foam, that's quite pretty. Tone it down a touch. Let's have a look. Petal pink, have we got any? There's petal pink. Let's just try another colour. We've got. No, that's not pool party, is it? Did I use the wrong colour on the wrong one? Oh, no, I haven't got pool party. Uh, let's just try another colour. We've got mint macaron. Didn't use mint macaron. Um, so many colours to choose from. Okay, one more. I think that green's getting a little bit lost, so let's try. That's nice, I like that. That's better. Hello, Sandra from the Netherlands. Welcome. What's about black, says Ellie? Mm, you could, but I'm quite liking the bold. I don't have black cut up, I think I keep using it. I quite, that is actually, that is quite nice. <laughs> I think black might be a bit too dark for that. Quite like using the colours. Um, okay, let's get this trimmed down. I think with busy backgrounds like this, I don't tend to cover up a lot of the background, I tend to keep it a bit more simple. Sandra, have you been here before? I'm sorry if I don't, I, I tend to recognise names just been here a good few times. So sorry if you have been here before a few times and I still haven't recognised your name. I do try and... Oh yes, I've just stamped all this. <laughs> so you only missed a bit. <laughs> That's a bit of a funny size, I don't know why. Let's just trim that down with a touch. Grey would be pretty too. Yes, grey, lovely neutral colour. I'm wondering about brown, I could have done it in... That's quite nice actually, I quite like the grey. Um, to make it really retro. Oh, that's a bit different, isn't it? Oh, you're making me pick out other colours now. That's quite fun. I quite like the retro style of that. Silver, says Vanessa. Vanessa's just totally going, like, off piste. Now that I've cut down my peacock colour, it's very 60s, isn't it? Shall we go with the brown? You let me know and I'll stick the other ones. Okay, whoa, chucking my tombow. I've got, my fingers are a bit jelly tonight, I don't know why. Oh, talking about glue, I found my um, my other adhesive, adhesive, <laughs> adhesive, what's adhesive? My stamp and sale went missing for absolutely ages and I found it the other day. Oh, Ellie's showing her age. She, <laughs> she said, I remember when brown and orange was all the rage for decor. I was thinking about doing that, but I just thought it would be fun to do some other colours. Um, where was it? It was in my box that I keep old dyes in and the big steel dyes. And I was having a clear out because I don't use them anymore. And um, yeah, it had fallen in there. So there you go. I like that on the brown. I like peacock, especially since it'll be leaving us. Let's have a let's have a little think, shall we? 
I suppose we didn't use brown in the in the original design, did we? So yes, ode to to peacock. We'll we'll do it on peacock. The public have spoken. <laughs> So you could probably do this with, I'm trying to think if there's anything else which is similar shape, but just have a look at your stamps, especially the photopolymer ones, and see, you know, you could probably stamp the other side to create some flat shapes. But like I said, there is a new stamp coming out in the um, new catalogue, which might appeal. So, hmm, I, I don't have my butterfly punch because I've lent that out to somebody to use. Um, I, I like, if I'm doing cards like this, I do like just to keep it simple with a simple sentiment and nothing too complicated. And actually, sometimes it's nice just to have blank cards without too much on it. So, um, there we go. I might keep it short and sweet tonight and stop there because that is a whole sheet I've made four cards in 40 minutes that's not bad is it not bad at all <laughs> so there we go you can go and have fun with this retro design don't forget to enter my instagram giveaway uh, which closes to margie thank you that's so so kind Thank you, Margie, and thank you to everybody who has super chatted tonight. Very kind. And um, the other thing I'm running in April is the Hello Dear Friend kit. I did a YouTube earlier about exactly what's inside this box. And I'm doing a special promotion. If you buy it, you get the two um, extra um, stamping spots. Okay. Vanessa says they look great and you can make so many different cards with them. Absolutely. You could go brights, you could do in colours, you could go autumnal, you could go, you know, so much you can do with it. So have fun with this. Oh, I was going to show you another thing, wasn't I? Do you want to stick around for one more? Do you? I'll just make it one quick one, okay? If you want to stick around, I'm just going to show you one more. And shall we? I'm going to go retro. Let's go. Because you guys have been so kind. So give me your retro colours. Pumpkin pie. Come on, more retro colours. I was about to go then. <laughs> Always room for one more, absolutely. Um, early espresso. Do we want soft suede? I'm picking the colours for you. A hot pink. What, like a magenta? Oh, no worries, Sandra. We could do that in another in another scheme. <laughs> I don't think it'll go with my retro. I'm thinking Bumblebee. Where has it gone? Bumblebee, where are you? What do we reckon? Do you think that's retro enough? So early espresso, soft suede, pumpkin pie, and bumblebee. Granny, hot green and granny apple. Hot pink, rather. I think we're going to have to make two more now because of you lot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, we'll do granny apple. No, I'm having an avalanche issue now. We'll do that and that, and then those four. Okay, but you've got to find two more bright colours. Let's go Bermuda and should we go purple? The gorgeous grape. I've got granny apple. Right, you think on what, what extra colour you want in there. And I'm going to do the retro one, okay? Right. Let's get started, or else we will be here all night. So the idea that I had for this one is, make sure my stamp is nice and clean. 
you do more block colours. So, okay, um, I'm going to start slightly offset, I think, and then we'll work our way out. Now, this one, I think I will clean the stamp in between because it's a bit more precise. Um, let's go soft suede. Might have to stand up for this one. Oh, she's standing up. Oh, I've gone slightly askew already, but never mind. I couldn't see what I was doing when I sat down. No, the, the brown needs to be opposite, it doesn't look right. Let's start again. The brown needs to be opposite. Oh, I just pressed down again, didn't I? It slipped out of my hand. So a couple of these inks are new, can you tell? <laughs> oh, this isn't working how I did my original one. No, nope, I'm going to start again. This. Come on, I've got this. Might be easier if I started in a corner. Or was it the other way? Let's try the other way. I can't remember. I did it so long ago that I can't remember. This might be the way. That's a bit close. No, I think it was the other way. I think I was the other way because the um <laughs> we will be here all night ladies and gents because there was like a, a natural cross shape in the middle okay stand up again there needs to be a bit of a gap you will do this <laughs> Oh, thank you, Delinda. Delinda's cheering me on from the sidelines. I think it's probably because I didn't use these colours before. That's that's my argument, and I'm going to stick with it. I've done that wrong, haven't I? Oh, let's just fill it in now. <laughs> Too late. I'm just going to go for it and fill it in. Oh, we'll do another yellow. I didn't want it necessarily to be symmetrical, that's why I'm hesitating. I can sit down now. Mm. 
There you go. Sorry, you couldn't see what I was stamping at the end there. Oh, I've got two colours similar. Never mind. You get the idea. <laughs> that wasn't what I had in my head, but there you go. So, you guys wanted another colour palette in bright. I do love a pot of tea in the evening. Ooh. Reminds me of a giant gumdrop. <laughs> a drawer full of teeth. <laughs> okay, so you guys wanted some bright colours. Let's give that a quick go. Actually, that on fairy vanilla would look quite cool. <laughs> Thank you, Ali. We get the idea. The top two rows got it. The idea was having that, that whole kind of square thing together. That square pattern. Oh, thank you, Mary Lou. <laughs> Hi, Janine. Okay, there. We'll leave that one to the side for a minute. Let's see what we can do with these. So shall we go, are we going all over with this one like we've done the original ones? We could try something a little different. Dare I try something different? <laughs> and she smudges already. Big orange splodge. Let's turn them over. A line of purple down the centre first, says Vanessa. Need a yellow now, don't I? I've got mango melody anyway. Oh, my mango melody's gone a bit squash. Gone a bit funny. What happened there? <laughs> Didn't quite stamp all of it. Really going off piste now. Blue, purple, blue, green. Might be another yellow then. Yellow. So then blue, purple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's just go for it. Let's not overthink it. We started, so they will finish. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, that's the kind of, you know, it does look like a kaleidoscope pattern. It looks like, you know, when you overlay, um, like tissue paper, that kind of look. It's pink, orange. I don't know, it goes a little bit skew with here. Pink, orange. Need maybe green over here. Yeah. 
I like it. It's different. <laughs> you can say that again, Esther. Very different, but fun. Lots of fun. Pink. Done blue, so let's skip a colour. Bit of green in there. I'm just going to mix the colours a bit more now. Great for a kid's card. Um, let's go blue. Maybe purple. There. <laughs> that was interesting. That wasn't where I was going to necessarily go, but that's where it, it went. <laughs> now that I've got hundreds and hundreds of ink pads out on my desk. Imagine this technique with the back of a flower stamp or a circle. Yes, a flower stamp would be fun, wouldn't it? Oh, imagine the fun we could have with that new stamp set. Just saying. Just saying. So like a nice, bold, happy birthday in the middle of that, I think, would work nicely. Or a thanks, a massive... Massive thank you, you could have. Just a thank you. Um, or we could have something tiny in the middle. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. Let's keep this under an hour. <laughs> it is happy. I love it. I love happy colours. Oh, I've not labelled the front of my ink pads, but we've used rather a lot tonight. There you go, the joy of colour and stamping. It's very happy. I like that. I'd happily just have that framed, I think. Just actually that nice big word happy, if I had that stamp, which I've now um, sent back, <laughs> that'd be nice. Big happy in the middle. I'm just looking to see what stamp sets I've got. Oh, do excuse me. Mm. To a friend that makes me smile, that'd be perfect, wouldn't it? Stamp sentiment separate and pop it up in the middle. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe a little circle or something. I'll have a think about it. So, we've gone kaleidoscope. Oh yeah, die cut word. That would be cool. We've gone super retro. And these were the ones we did earlier. So, we've gone masculine retro and... Um, pastel feminine retro so there you go folks lots of ideas to play with and all inspired by that one stamp which actually is a jar of water technically so how fun was that die cut word nice die cut word in like silver foil or something could look cool and that mounted on a bit of wham bam magenta Nice, I like that. A die cut word stacked up on itself. Okay, so the other thing that's retiring these words here. This isn't I've got cut that funny. So, what is the word we're going to have? We have got happy, we've got happy birthday. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! Or in black. I think happy birthday is nice. You can't go wrong with happy birthday, and I'm definitely running out of birthday cards. Hey. 
Hey, Galena. I keep wrapping it up, Galena, and then I keep coming back on to finish things off. Now, are we thinking black or white or foil? What do we think? Glenna, you missed it all. Here's a sneak peek. <laughs> Janine says black. Great or black. I won't stick that down on there because that paper needs cut, that card needs cutting again. Okay, let me get out my black card then. I also matte it on black. Thanks for the thumbs up. I don't think it will show up if I... Um... Did it a matte, a matte black? That's all right. You usually got a very good excuse for being late. I'm usually busy working or something, aren't you, Glenna? Nice to have your company. Black with Wink Stella. Oh my goodness, you guys are up for the party tonight. Okay, let me just find. Are these it? No. Nope. Somewhere. Okay. Got some sticky adhesive sheets here. I have to start a new one. Right, quick as chips, here goes. What go on there? That one's on there. No worries, Babsy, lovely to see you. These people are keeping me on tonight. Peel off the backing, put it on there. Peel off the backing. So I tend to fold the corner over and then pull it back like that. That way you usually manage to catch the backing. And this basically turns your sheet into a giant sticker. Uh, Cindy says, batch making Mother's Day cards. I lose track of what you're doing. Well, with that, this baby was playing up the other day. So let's just hope it's going to work tonight for me. Um, this is the piece I need. Oh, am I missing a platform? No. So let's hope it works and cooperates tonight because I'm going to have to bring on the giant one if not. So we're die cutting the word happy. Oh, yeah, it's working again. Just had a funny five minutes. gone through nicely but I will want to stack this up so to make it nice and pop I think 
two layers would be would be sufficient. No worries if you have to go. I know you lot are busy and I have stayed on a bit longer than I thought I was going to tonight. Because you all come up with these ideas and I feel like I've got to, you know, roll with the punches. <laughs> Gotta roll with it. Okay, whoop. Put my scissors where they don't belong there. Try to pop those out. Oh, the eye's missing for my birthday. One more, and then we'll get sticking. Thank you for your patience, everybody. It's worth seeing it to the end. <clears throat> okay. I know what it's like sometimes when you see people crafting you can visualize what some well I can anyway I can kind of envisage what something might look like and you want to kind of see it you want to see it now <laughs> you want to see how it's going to look exactly you've got to watch you're the ones that um it's all your idea it's all your fault <laughs> Somebody with big fingers, I am sometimes surprised at my dexterity, I must admit. <laughs> okay, so I've got to layer these up to make them bigger and bolder. So you might not see a difference on screen, but you will in, in real life. Esther, you are the calm for my card making. Plus, I have reruns of Midsummer Murders. Ah, well, I'll slow down. I always feel at this point I've got a rush now, because I feel like I've taken lots of time up. But if you didn't know about the fast-forward button, it's rather good to know about that <laughs> on YouTube. So are we thinking straight on, folks? Are we thinking, oh, that's fun. How about that? It's getting a little bit lost. Wondering whether we need like a white or a circle underneath it. You have a think and I'm just going to put these two together. Just take your time in matching these because the their letters they kind of stretch a bit. So just once you've got one laid down, you can just lay the rest down. Okay, now I'm going to pop out the centres. we come to any conclusions you could even wrap that round a little bit it does curve a bit I do think it needs um, something under there doesn't it happy birthday to you what? thinking Thinking. 
Oh, excuse me. Yeah, vellum would, you need something a bit just bold. Maybe just a, let's try a white circle. Um, what am I saying? Vellum, you don't want it to be see-through. You need something that's going to help emphasise. I did wonder about silver, like a silver circle. Silver circle. Let's just try this a minute. Oh, my plates are a little bit all over the place. It's going through. Double row with a hint of vellum. Bigger circle. What vellum behind that circle? Let's have a look. Okay, so let's try a bigger circle with the vellum, okay? Got to keep you all happy, haven't I? <laughs> oh, it's just a little bit too big to fit in there. Chop off the scraggy bit on the end. There it is. It's not coming. Oh, I quite like it offset like that. It looks a bit more retro then, doesn't it? So I like that sort of thing. We'll play ball. I like that. Right, okay, now I've got to cut some more pink magenta because the one I've got it's not quite right. There we go, I've got to keep the punters happy, haven't we? We love it offset, good. Happy little accidents. Right, five, six. Seven, eight and a half. So such a funny measurement, our A5 paper. I wish it was a, a bit easier. <laughs> oh dear. Is that Linda coming in? Right, somewhere. Oh, bone folder. There we go. Right. Check the size. Good, that's better. Okay, let's get a sticking. Stick, stick, sticking. Wow, what turned in, into from an experiment turned into something grand. What? Right, that's it. I'm going to tell YouTube off for not telling you. That I was here all this time. And you've caught the tail end as well, Linda. You missed the circus, the jugglers, the acrobats, everything. Right, so let's just figure out what we're doing here. 
that is stuck itself down so I think I'll just go with it <laughs> okay we're gonna glue that to that shall we pop it up no we can't because it's answering my own questions do you ever do that Oh, I've not taken the back off. <laughs> Nobody told me. <coughs> I know, Janine loved the lion tamer. So, Linda, you really have missed it all. <laughs> yes, I will, I will let you... Uh, I'll leave the replay on just for you, OK? Somewhere around here, I've got my dot for my eye which I will deal with in just a sec. So we don't want to glue the vellum, but we glue the bit that you can't see. This is the finale, folks. Just make sure that is straight. I think it is. Might just sort of squidge it over a little bit. Down a touch and stick. So we did a double layer of the die cutting just to have it make it stick out a little bit okay and then we are going to second time some of you have seen each other today so i've got the dot for the eye in here and i'm just going to poke it through hmm, okay that wasn't as successful as i thought it was going to be <laughs> there we go Dot the I's, cross the T's. There we go. I'm feeling the need for sparkle now, everybody. You like the offset circles? Good. Does it help with the retro vibe? I feel like it needs some... These are cool. Look at these. These are fun. These little teardrops. Should we use them? Quite like that. Happy birthday. Might as well. What do we think? I like them, like little pips. Like it's making a big splash. Yeah, let's do it. They're only going the bin. These are the off cuts from the letters that we've just cut out. In case anyone's wondering how they appeared on my desk. They're like splashes. <laughs> Christine says, inspired. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Nice to see you. I keep finishing up and then something keeps happening, Deborah. So you've caught the end a bit, but um, I think if you come on at the end, you get the best bits because... It's the height of creativity. Because once you get started, something happens. You have an idea and then ideas grow. And you experiment and new things happen. Sometimes accidents. Deborah's confused. <laughs> what are you confused about, Deborah? Paula says she's been wanting the jar set, and now I really do. <laughs> I love that, that those are the pips from inside there. My splashes. Do you feel a bit hallucinated, everybody? I feel like I need to spin this round. I, you, I am reading your mind. <laughs> oh thanks Deborah. 
Where's Ruth? Lol, well, nice to see you though. <laughs> Don't know, sometimes she hides, sometimes she watches in the wings. Sometimes she doesn't. <laughs> right, there we go. There, see? If you call her name loud enough, she's never far behind. She's always lurking there somewhere. <laughs> That's why you can't say anything about her behind her back, because she's just there. <laughs> Right, lovely peoples. <laughs> That's it. Clap your hands three times and say her name and she will appear. <laughs> Would you mind starting again? Deborah, not this one, no. Any other one, yes, but not today. So we're going to work backwards in time. We're going to take you backwards. Going backwards in time. I'm on the big screen. Hello, big screen. Hello, lounge. Hello, Magnus family. <laughs> okay. Uh, we went retro. And then afterwards we did pastoral feminines. And we did masculine uh, retro vibes. So there we go. It's nearly 5.30 in Florida. We are happy to keep watching, <laughs> says Ali. Ali, is this your first time? Ali, mon ami. And out comes Nessa. Should have called her name, shouldn't we? There. Oh, Glenna. Well, it kind of developed, you know, as these things do evolve. I was like, yeah, quick live tonight. Not going to stay long. And then that happened. But I'm loving it. I'm loving the results. Like I say, you know, the more you play, the more ideas develop and happen. So we had curtains in all those designs in the 70s, says Deborah. Yeah, people were saying it reminds me of the, like tablecloth, like the oil cloth. Now this one I think would be fun to... How are we doing on the old time? <gasps> this is going on and on. I do. I think this, we do need some of this going on in the, um, need to kind of block out some of this pattern to make it work. Where to be, that's fine. If you want to stay, I'm just going to do a little bit more stamping. Ruth, are you are you done now, or because you did one earlier, or are you trying to come on again? Ruth, trying to come on, and I'm just going. No, I'm just going to take up all the airtime. <laughs> Those are your lounge colours. Ruth's tidying her desk. Okay, well, it won't be too long. Let's just... Just feel the need to kind of do something with this. Oh, Ali, you watch often. Too, you're amazing. Did you say where you're watching from? You know, roughly, you don't have to give us uh, grid references. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think my, my retro pattern has made my screen go all dodgy then. Oh, dear. Let's just tone down the settings a bit. A skillet meal for dinner, Mexican rice and hamburger. Mmm, that sounds yummy. I made my first, I don't think I've ever made a prawn curry before. Made it with my son tonight. It was quite fun. Very tasty, actually. Uh, what was I going to do? The other thing that's retiring, <laughs> talk about old things and retro things. 
I can find it. Are these square dies that I've only just gone and bought? But I'm thinking like a cute little happy birthday. Oh, I know what I've got. I've got a tiny bit of this, oh, not a tiny, quite a lot of this left. Who's Mrs. May is it Maisel? Mazel would be impressed with the basket. Oh, sorry, Donnie. Yes, jar of love for the background. Thai basil chicken with stir fried Chinese broccoli. Um, right, let's let's get us skates on. I need to find a little sentiment. So I'm thinking. Um, something, it's your day, that will fit in there, so we'll use that, I think I need to cut it down a bit, let's stamp first, should we do orange, not orange Esther, pumpkin pie, what am I looking for, just taking it off the block, It's your day. Now this is the scalloped one, so we'll see how this turns out. Come on now. Don't keep the folks waiting. This is where it starts playing up for me. Come on. I also have to get the big guns out. Don't stop moving. Come on, you got this. Talk to it nicely. It's your day. Go. Oh, is it skew with? So, oh, this is the right measurement. So let's use my long lost. Actually, let's not because I don't want it to be nice and strong. Stamp and seal plus. Around the corner. Is it a bit low? Yeah, let's go just a little bit higher. Snip, snip, snip. Right, it shows nearly over, folks. Okay. Nearly, nearly, not quite. I'm going to be a bit lazy and just stick this sentiment in it anyway. It's a little bit skew. But we shall go with it. Because it's getting late. <laughs> It's your day, and I'm going to disguise it with this. Pretend it's not skew with this special bow here to kind of train the eye into thinking that it's actually not as off center as you think it might be. <laughs> oh dear, right. 
let's choose color oh i just do not like soft suede <laughs> i don't like soft suede card just find it it's just a funny color um let's have a look at this are you thinking what i'm thinking I know, maybe I need to make the card all, like, skew it. I'm sorry, but it's going to have to be done. Sorry, not sorry. Although, okay, orange or brown, people. What do you think? I can't, I can't really layer it because I won't, you won't actually see much orange. So, would, and I've got to wrap up now. So, orange or brown. Need a few more votes than that. Orange, brown, orange, brown. Brown, brown, orange. It's not helping me. Okay, let's see if we could do a tiny layer. Right, who's going to volunteer to come and tidy up my craft room? Oh dear. Right, so if that was three and seven eighths, we'll go four and that one there. Let's see if this is Thank you, Janine. Janine has offered to come and tidy up my craft room for me. Need to go a little bit. So it's a tiny border, but it's enough to make a difference. I've measured that wrong. It's almost not worth it. <laughs> but let's... Come on, we've got this far. Okay, that's really cutting it down to next to nothing. No, you can't actually see it now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Three and seven eighths. So four. Five and five eighths. Five and three quarters. That's Still doesn't look right. Right, we're sticking, folks, we're sticking. Um, you can trim the top, but I can't trim the sides, so it's a little bit of an issue. Well done for sticking with me. We're getting there. It's all your fault. Remember that. <laughs> if you're wondering who I'm talking to. <laughs> oh dear. When I do live videos, it means there's live chat, so you get interaction, which is great because you get ideas and suggestions. And it's just nice to catch up with people that you've never met in real life, but yeah, I've got to know over particularly YouTube and the internet. Fellow crafty people, which is lovely and friends for life. And it makes my job even better to be able to share gain inspiration from others and ideas and stuff so awesome to see what this card turns into oh good <laughs> i'm glad you stayed 
looks fabulous, Esther. You have been so hard on yourself. You know we love you and appreciate your time and creativity. Oh, thank you. Yay, Monica, you've managed to match your hearts to my card. It's just nice to see a card through to the end, to be honest, because otherwise I must admit there are things that end up staying around on my desk and they don't get turned into cards straight away. And so it is nice to see th things through to the finale. Right, on that note, I'm definitely going to turn the camera around. I'm not going to touch any more. I need that for my yammer hunk. But I love that you call him that. That's so sweet. There you go. You can go make your own. <laughs> if you've got that stamp set, you can go and make your own. Oh, thank you, everybody. A bit of a mammoth one this evening, but I'm so pleased that you stuck around. And he blushes. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> well, in that time, we managed to four, six cards. That's not bad, is it? And hopefully you get to, to see the process and the journey. Now, I'll just end by saying this. My youngest son was watching his auntie earlier and saying, oh, she's still going. I said, yeah, oh, I, di I didn't realise it took so long to make a card. He said, when you, when you see a card, you don't actually realise how long, it, when it's finished, you don't realise how long it's actually taken somebody. I said, yeah, I said, you're right, you know, this way you get to see the process of how long it takes because you are actually creating and you're making and you're having to work things out, or, you know, as you go along, which he is he's very, you know, he's very thought provoking, pro he's not thought provoking, he, he thinks things through. So it was quite sweet that he acknowledged that actually you can't always magic up. Oh, because he said, because when I watch your videos, they're a lot quicker. And I said, yeah, that's because they're edited. So you kind of skip out all the the bits in between. So I think because he'd seen my edited videos, he was made to realise that actually when you're making things from scratch, they do take time. And this has been a long video and I appreciate all those thumbs up. Um, but it just kind of goes to show the the um what's the word I'm looking for not the journey the process it takes to um to make things and how create how creative creative well, I'm losing my words I can't even think anymore how creativity works but it's not about magicking things up but actually it's a very much a process and um things develop and and the more you play and the more your brain kind of goes off in tangents, it's great. So hopefully that, you know, I know that, like I said, this has been a long time, but, you know, do fast forward. Find that fast forward button is very useful. And it's made with love. Absolutely it is. Yeah. So I better go rather than take up any more of your time. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for your super chats. Thank you for chatting along. You don't even have to give me money to be here. I'll be here because <laughs> it's just lovely to share my love for stamping with you. Um, it starts in my sleep. Uh -huh. It is a process, yeah. Oh, thanks, everybody. Take care and um, please do come back <laughs> and catch me another time. Oh, I'm probably not I'm not around next Tuesday. Um, I'm not around, but I... I've got a video that's going to go live next Tuesday evening when I would go live. So I'm not around next Tuesday, but um, I will catch up hopefully another time. And I'm on Easter break at the moment, so I'll catch up when I can. Take care. Mm, lots of love. Thank you so much for your support, your love, your kindness, your kind words. All those thumbs up and for the comments afterwards are always really greatly appreciate it because it just shows interaction with the videos and it, it helps to get that shared out thank you night night lots of love bye then <laughs>